guys, uh, I'm relaxing on the couch. Not asleep. Relaxing. Because uh, I've been working hard outside. I uh, didn't show it, but you know, Jake and Alyssa, they're out of town for their wedding. Beautiful wedding, too. And uh, they had quite a bit of stuff stacked up on the little table. Bree had quite a bit of stuff stacked up on the table, and the uh, delivery man come, and uh, I said, hey, I'm going to move that stuff for you, buddy. Uh, just give me a minute. And he said, well, I'll just set what I got right here, and he's sitting on the ground. I said, that's fine, you know. And uh, I load up all that stuff. I take Jake's stuff over to the barn, stack it real nice under the under the barn on top of this hay. Real nice. I take all the Bree stuff home, put it where it goes. Just a good pawpaw. <laughs> and I go in, some of the couch, and I, I have, you know, I, I real hamburgers, patties. Had a couple of hamburger patties. Kim calls. What are you doing, Dad? Go, Sitting on the couch, baby. Oh, I need you to come down here and look at something. Well, that's basically how she sounds. So I'm going to drive down there. I'm tired. And I don't know why she called me because she ain't going to listen to anything I say. Uh, she'll say, I want you advice on this or this and this. She ain't going to listen. She ain't never listening. She ain't never listening. Let's go, boys. Take my little boys with me for moral support because she starts something. It's on. Lazy cat. She's probably laying down on the back radio. Levi's probably laying there. I couldn't lay down. What? I'm coming. Probably got to work. Do my own work and come down here and work. That ain't right. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. I love this door. Well, the cats have already torn a couple of holes. Well, that's the okay. It's old timey. I like it. Okay. I just did a video. I'm going to post it in a few minutes saying, telling me to put yay or nay. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go. Here we go. Don't make fun of me. All right, I'm not going to laugh. About this high up with T111. All the way down the front of this. Okay. There'll be a screen door right here. Okay. All up here and around on that end and on that end will be the little welded wire instead of screen because the cats will tear screen up. Okay. And they'll still let all the air in. And it all the bugs, but it won't stop it won't it won't let big old blackbirds and stuff in. It won't let chickens in. Or chickens. It won't let cats in. So we can sit in here and eat and not worry about birds and chickens. And cats. And cats. Mosquitoes will be eating us up, but it's okay. Daddy, I'm not Worried about the mosquitoes. So what were you just doing it cat proofing it? Cat -proof basically and chicken proof. And yeah, chicken proof. Because why do you why do you allow your chickens to get on your deck to start with? Well, My I chickens come all around. Even even the outlaws of, of breeze come over. They don't come on the porch. They may come over and mess up everything I got, but they don't mess up my porch. I don't know why. What's I'm wrong not, with your chickens? I don't know. Look at them. They they follow me because I'm their mama. If they think they wait out here for me long enough, I'll come out and see them. Look at that one. Look at that big chicken. He's snucky. <laughs> How'd he get out? He snuck in the gate. Oh. Okay, so, but. Okay, I see. I see what you're you doing. See this? Yeah, that's going to stop that. You can't come out here and enjoy a I, nice afternoon. Well, I love coming out and sitting with my cats. I love it. Well, if I want to sit and love on a cat. You go out in the rain. Out there in the rain. All right. Dad? Well, I'm just trying so, to point out the goods and the bads. Well, the goods are that I will have no more cat situations on my furniture. Like, 
all that fur and stuff on your furniture. And those two wild ones that are wild as a bat and I can't catch, and they're always sick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if they're sick, let's put them out in the cold in the rain. All right. No, that's what we got to do. We don't want them in here where it's nice. Yeah, look at that one. Water hose thing. She's wild. Well, there's one out there on your hay stack of hay. Out here? On your truck. I like you, Emma. All right. So, I, I see what you're doing. No more cats and chickens where I'm cooking, and no more cats and chickens where we sit to congregate and visit. That's a good idea, I think. Okay. I think it's a good idea, eh? All right. I was just trying to figure out what I should do, and I was like, should I do the whole thing or just the sitting area? No, I'd, if I was going to do it, I'd do the whole thing because otherwise, there's or no you'll have more. You'll have more where you're trying to cook laid up. Yeah, because they're already standing there watching. Yeah, they're waiting right now. Mm -hmm. Put something on the grill, Mama. Put something on the grill. Yeah. All right, All right that's what I think I'm going to do. You know, the deck will be. This deck's going to be extended. In a few months. You know, bad weather days. You just throw your chicken feet out here on this deck. You can stand here and watch me. Dad, they eat. <laughs> the goats, goats could even come in here and no. lay on the tables out here and, no. and, and munch. No, my picnic table that was supposed to be for us to sit at, although I knew they would get up there. I've never seen so much little pellets in all my life. Oh, yeah. Goats love that stuff. Anyway, that was my idea of, I was just going to run that past you, because I already told them in the video that you and Daniel will make fun of me saying, well, here she goes. She's starting to enclose things again. Well, that's, that's true. That's, <laughs> that is true. Uh, because I know you already said you're going to extend this deck on out further. Yeah. About out there we're... about where that cow's at. No, right there where oh. Minky is. Oh, yeah. She's going to go right there. That tree will be so you'll still have a big outdoor open. deck, and yeah. then you'll have a big indoor. But porch. this area will be clean. And then we got this big, big porch up here yeah. that don't get used anymore. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. When it's it. winter and it's cold, we use it. Levi's out there right now. It's in there oh. watching TV. Oh, right, that's right. All right, see, that's a good idea. Yeah. Okay. I think it'll work. When are you going to start this project? I'm making a list right now. All right. Because I just thought, well, I came out here without well, how, you go, how high are you going to come up, seriously? About um, 30, 36? 33 inches. Well, where where you get 33 at? I mean, what's it? Why 33? Because one sheet of tea. Oh, make three. Make three, three of them. That's, that's a good thing. And if I get the five-foot wire, then there's a whole nothing is... Blocking a really blocking a view from here. Uh, 33, 33, and 33, baby, is 99. Okay, 32. Yeah, 32. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. You know, I'm glad I showed up because everything would have been, <laughs> there had been two sheets of 33 and one thrown out there in the yard for to use for something else. Yeah. Right. Okay, well, you knew what I meant, 32. I know what you meant. 32. I already have my mark. It's at 32. I, know, I, I, I even said in the video 33, but I think I meant 32. This is my mark. Yeah, I'm glad I showed up. I'm glad I showed up. Part, and I'm going to get a couple of pieces to finish that out, too, so you won't be seeing the back side up there on the deck. Remember, it, it, it never got finished on this side. I wouldn't worry about that. You wouldn't? No. But I, this side is finished. I, I, Puts little signs up there or something, you know, little cute little decorations. Like Kim's porch number three or something like that. Dad! What? I'm just saying something to be decorated. <laughs> okay, well. All right. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. All right, that's good. She's done it already once. She's already got this outside wire. Big old sloppy kiss. No wet nose. <laughs> this is going to be your new room, Molly. Yeah, she's pretty. You got a nice cow. 
Yeah, so when she, when this is, because this is the corner of the barn. This was open a long time ago for that horse I had. This is how she yeah. came in. Yeah. So if all this is open, there's a post right in the center going up to a new ridge beam, and then a post in the middle holding everything up. From here, from the back, I said 12 foot, but you don't have to come 12 foot. I think that's somewhere about right here is the middle. But this will all be what they call a loafing shed. So she'll just like when it's raining and stuff be able to come into here. But she won't be able to come into where she gets milk because I don't want her pooping and just laid up in here. Yeah, I got you. And then yeah. the goats can come in that side. And I'll have a little room up, a little fenced in area up there, a little stall for her calf. So when I'm milking her, there's no separation. They don't um, like stress out him crying and her worried oh i'm sure baby uh he ain't gonna stress out while you're milking look, look at this one dad this, oh i know it. i look know how i've had to piece these yeah together it's got all that's got to come out i know and i think it, this will be a really good once it's done oh. you know she uh she's one of the hardest working girls i know she she don't back up from that I'm proud of her. I have to give her a hard time, so I don't. She'll think she's good as I am. <laughs> no, I know. she got a couple of good projects there on her mind. Uh, the one on the porch would be neat. I understand that. The uh, wood in that little building is going to be total a big job because uh, that old building built back in the 40s and it's got to be very delicate with it it's sunk over the years it's got to be jacked back up and all new supports up at the top new post it's gonna be a job uh, I gotta get going see our electric range has been moved outside it's a good range, works great, but we never use it. I can't remember the last time we cooked anything inside. <laughs> so G wanted more space. Hey, Kim and her put their heads together. You know that's scary. And they have come up with a new plan in the kitchen. Now Ben, on this video, You'll see where I had to go do chores for Kim, mainly uh, technical advice. She owed me. So to pay me back, she's going to install the two shelves above where the stove is, or was. And I'm right now going to go cut them and stain them. And she's going to install them. And uh, that's going to be payback. Yeah, I mean, my, my advice, my advice to, to her is, was expensive. I, I realize it. She's got to work for me telling her what I thought. <laughs> I got to go do something, you'll go. I can't get away from this little kid. Come on. Get your little butt on here. <laughs> Get up to sleep. No, oh, it's just hay. It ain't gonna hurt you. Get your little butt up there, kid. Oh my goodness. Turn around, sit down. Okay. Okay, Paw Paw. Buckle. All right, Buckle. I know. We got a Buckle. We got a man. Buckle. Buckle up for you. Okay, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Bye bye, Gigi. Woody. So anyway, uh, I'm not for sure. Jake either wants the stove or Stephanie wants it. I'm not for sure who's going to get it. Go over and get the saw and the square and stuff and 
cut the shells for her. Oh my goodness, man. She will install them. And that's gonna be her, her paying me back for me coming down and giving her technical advice. <laughs> Let me get my tools here, baby. Wait, right here, okay? So I've cut the shelves. Uh, two shelves. There's one of them where it's already got stain on it. She wanted the light color stain. And I'm fixing to stain this one here. And there will be two shelves above the stove. And we have... Uh, all we got a cook with a little countertop. be like a toaster and, a, and a air air fryer we got two air fryers and uh there'll be plenty of room to work them things in now there as we depending on which one someone wants to use ben likes the red one yeah, it's kind of a real simple one and the other one will be sitting on the shelf and when we want it i'll use it so anyway it's gonna be good easy way to do it have a good soft rag on stain Put it on with a brush and it may be darker than what you want. Put it on here with a brush, I do, and just wipe it on. And you can take your rag and do it direct. Whichever way you like to do it. It makes a good light color stain. Whichever way you like to do it. You do it either way. Both come out the same. This, just doing it straight with the cloth is a little bit faster. A little bit faster. Always go with the grain of the wood. See that? See the difference here? The difference here is it's, might not be able to tell much of the sunshine on it like that. Let me turn it over and do the back side. Going with the grain. You guys probably already know all this stuff. Come along here, and the edges. Okay. Now I'll show you the difference in just a second. Get the ends of them real good. Alright, we got it real good all over. Later, if we get all the fingerprints off of it, move, moving around. Alright, I'll show you the difference here what it was and uh, turns okay around. you can see the difference this is what it was it's just plain white pine and this with a stain on it okay so it's a light light oak stain and that's what she wanted so as soon as they dry Kim can put them up now that was our deal Kim I'm gonna come down and give you technical advice brain work because you know she might not have a lot of that <laughs> she does she does but i like to make fun of her and you can put these two shelves up now if jake don't take this stove buddy and step on it uh, i don't know who asked for it first uh, g don't look at her 
she put it out on a family who, who needs a, a nice electric range that works, works, it works it very seldom use it. And I don't know who said first, because she don't look at her uh, family page in there, like who, who responded to her offer. So we'll find out who comes against it. All right, I'm gonna take you inside and show you something. Listen, folks, listen. Don't you guys ever go buy sandpaper ever again. You don't need it. You don't need it. Sandpaper is gonna go out of business. People make sandpaper while we fold their doors, close their doors. Kim has found a new way. She likes to use a piece of cedar. I do not like to use cedar. I'm just saying that you can. Cedar has a, the rough on cedar, the roughness of cedar, We'll smooth out your edges. I know. They, now, people, when they go buy their lumber, just buy another piece of cedar to go with it. And forget the sandpaper. Look. Now, feel this. It's not as smooth as, as sandpaper, but all the little bristly oh, yeah. broke stuff is gone. Feel like a baby's butt. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm so angry. I gotta do this side. Look. Smooth as a baby's See butt. This? Yeah, See this? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, knock that off. Look at this girl. Look at her, folks. Look. Look here. Look at, oh, I've got okay. one smart daughter. I got two smart daughters. This in here Look is at that. such a craftsman. A little bit more. All the way down. I'm going to round this in. <laughs> 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 oh, you make me sick. You know, just, round this just go put them up. <laughs> trying to get by without work is what you're trying to do. No. You owe me this job for me coming down and giving you technical advice. Awesome, baby girl. Awesome. Oh my goodness, the dog. Go what? That gotta go too far up. Just try to go up some. I can't take that. Oh, hang on. Okay. Okay, guys. Kim has done her magic. She has done her magic. Two shells at the top. That's what she wanted. All right. Folks, I hope y'all enjoyed that little video. Me and Kim putting us shells up for G. And G, you can tell she's happy. Sitting over here on her phone. Very kippy. And Kim's on her phone. And I'm going to cut this video off and get it out to you. Hope you enjoy it. Hit the like button, share with a friend. They may like you tomorrow, and they may not. If they don't, they were shallow. And if you think about it, if you hadn't subscribed, go ahead. I love you guys.